Hey hello friends I am Shubham and in this video I am going to show you how to install the Kali Linux in virtual box and uh, this method is working on windows 7 8 and 10 so let's start the video first install the virtual box on your pc and open that and uh, first you need to create the machine so click on the new button and uh, type here name as a Kali and change the type from microsoft to windows to linux and a version as a Debian 64 bit because my PC is a 64 bit and now click on the next button here they give default RAM as 1 GB uh, so I am converted to the 4 GB 4096 and I click on next ok now click on create take the format as a VDI click on next the default space which is allocated for Kali Linux is a 8 GB uh, so as per your users you can convert it to the another GB so I am uh, taking it uh, here as a 20 GB and now click on the create button now everything is done about the machine right click on the Kali and uh, change some settings click on setting go to the system tab and uh, click on the processor and uh, change the processor to the full uh, so my is a quad core so here it is 4 ok now click on the storage then empty and uh, choose the ISO image so here it is the symbol as a disk click on that and choose the ISO image open it ok so now we move toward the installation click on the start button green start button here I fast forward and cut the video because the length of video is going on increasing it's almost 34 minute so I skip the video somewhere now choose here the graphical install option oh, sorry here the mouse is not working so adjust some options with the keyboard Choose your language as the English and uh, continue. Now change our uh, country as the India. Continue. American English, yeah, it's okay. Continue. Here we need to configure the network but uh, for now click on the continue Ok continue And uh, type the password whichever you want And uh, click on the continue button Now here the choose default disk guided is entire disk. Click on continue. Okay. Continue. Finish partition here and change this to disk. Yeah, it's allow. Okay, continue. Yes. Continue. Here is option for network mirror. If you need the network mirror, then click on nay, yes, otherwise uh, click on no and uh, continue it. So, you started to install the grub loader on your disk. Here, click on yes and uh, continue. Choose your hard disk, dev SD, whatever it is. Now 
now our installation is done here the message is coming as installation complete okay so click on continue it's finishing the installation choose here the default one Kali Linux and go enter The default username is a root, so type root. Next, and type the password. Okay, sign in. So finally, we are installing the Kali Linux on our virtual machine. So first, I will uh, maximize it. And uh, here are the some options for power off and on and some others. Here are some uh, places given. And uh, some applications which are pre-installed on Kali Linux, they are here. As you can see that the screen is not in a full screen mode. So I will make a video on how to make a full screen in virtual box. And also on how to increase internet speed in terminal emulator because the uh, internet speed is in terminal emulator is too low. So thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, do like, share and subscribe for more videos.